The countdown is on until we know more about Slate, a new auto startup that has assembled veterans of automotive and technology. In this video, let's go over what's been reported, what they've published, and the photo that only adds to the mystery. Let's see if we can solve it. First off, let's congratulate the PR team at Slate Auto for making this reveal a little bit fun. After some clicks, you come to their FAQs, which are completely unsatisfying, and they know it. It's funny, snarky, very well done. Slate is an auto company. According to the LinkedIn, they have assembled over 300 employees with strong automotive experience. Most are in Metro Detroit, with others in California. Slate is a startup initially funded by Jeff Bezos. He is not running the auto company. It's not clear how much time he spends thinking about Slate Auto versus sailing on his mega yacht. According to reports, it's spun out of another Bezos venture called Rebuild Manufacturing, whose mission is to reimagine manufacturing in America using their brain-to-box process. My take on that is... It seems like they are doing for physical product development what Agile has done for software development, but that's just my spin on it. Slate started to assemble their veteran team in 2022. In 23, they went through their first Series A funding round, collecting $111 million under the name ReCar. They had a small office in Michigan that now appears to be abandoned, having moved to a larger unmarked building just a few blocks away. I know this was only two years ago, but keep in mind that 2021 to 23 was peak EV bubble. It was full speed ahead as seemingly nothing could go wrong. Looking back, maybe we're a bit too optimistic about the pace of adoption of EVs, but that's how tech bubbles behave. Roller coaster rides are normal. According to TechCrunch, their next Series B funding went through late last year, but is yet to be filed by the SEC. A mysterious pickup was spotted in California that someone posted to Reddit asking, hey, what is this car? By the way, Reddit attracts some really smart users. No wonder AI companies want to train their systems on their user comments. When someone posted this picture, they were stymied, leading many to believe that this must be the Slate vehicle. According to reports, this is the vehicle leaving their LA design center. Accidents happen, and someone could have forgotten to cover it up momentarily, but I'm more inclined to believe that this is a deliberate leak. They wanted this photo to get out, and maybe to deceive us a little bit. Slate is making an electric vehicle, but depending on who you're talking to, electric vehicles can include plug-in hybrids, extended range EVs like the Scout Harvester, or full battery electric. So what is Slate? They posted a job for head of powertrain. The word powertrain makes me think it could involve a combustion engine, but looking through the job description, it doesn't ask for any prior gas experience. High voltage battery, electric drive module, battery cooling. A more revealing job description gives us more insights about Slate. Slate is a new U.S. electric vehicle company transforming the battery electric vehicle space. When Scout revealed their large body-on-frame SUV, they surprised us with an e-rev version in addition to the battery electric powertrain, but there are no signs of this being the case here. And a smaller pickup like the Spy Photo doesn't really need an e-rev or a PHEV powertrain. Battery electrics do very well with smaller, more aerodynamic vehicles. Reports are that Slate Auto is targeting a starting price of $25,000. Finally, after years of being fed big battery $75,000 plus EVs, automakers are starting to get the hint and see that they have to make them more affordable. Chevrolet will soon reveal their next generation Bolt. Ford has a Skunk Works team whose first vehicle will be a mid-size pickup. Uh-oh. Slate Auto will undoubtedly leverage their brain-to-box process to create innovative ways of designing out costs. Some of that may include bare bones, minimum viable product approach. Their MVP may be a two-door regular cab short box pickup, according to the pictures. They've also trademarked the phrase, we build it, you make it, hinting that this truck 
could have very few standard features, but allow for customization. I mean, imagine if Amazon Prime offered hundreds of accessories for these affordable EVs that you can choose from and have shipped right to your house. Another job posting talks about wheels as an accessory like merchandise or apparel. Automakers know the margins on accessories are much better than the vehicle itself, particularly pickups and off-roaders. Their owners love spending money to make their truck different from all the other millions on the road. So it looks like it's a small, regular cab pickup. Reports from insiders say, yeah, that's it. But I think we're getting duped, uh, kind of. Yes, there will be a small pickup offering. This could prove to be useful as a fleet vehicle. Local deliveries, Orkin, for example, they love buying midsize pickups for use by their workers. But I said earlier that this feels like a deliberate leak. That's my conspiracy theory. Yes, America loves pickups. Yes, it could have useful fleet applications. But if you really want to pump up the sales volume, you need interior space. It's been a long, long time since big manly men were confident enough with their masculinity to get into a regular cab small truck. The first gen S10 from Chevrolet and the S15 from GMC, which is, I guess, professional grade, so it's five better than the Chevy. They offered a boxy regular cab short box truck standard, then a long bed or an extended cab option. Creating extra build combinations adds manufacturing costs, which is not what you want to do to hit your $25,000 target. You can save some money, for example, by keeping the front doors common between all the variants, not making them bigger for the extended cab. Beyond this, maybe what Slate Auto will surprise us with is an SUV variant having leaked the pickup truck deliberately. Ancient history, I know, but GM offered a two-door SUV variant of the S10 based on the pickup called the S10 Blazer. It actually ran on a shorter wheelbase than the standard bed pickup. The four-door SUV, which came out later, used nearly the same wheelbase. So if Slate Auto went down that same path, it could reduce build combinations by offering a four-door SUV on the same wheelbase as a regular cab pickup. Of course, two doors would be less expensive than four doors because, you know, two fewer doors, but four doors are going to sell better in the US and anywhere else. Let's come back in a week or so to see if my conspiracy theory is correct. Other things to note on the body, the charging door is on the left rear like Tesla, and the door is kind of small, so of course it's gonna use the NAX or J3400 connector. Personally, I think designers should keep the door size big enough to accommodate the larger CCS2 connector that's used in Europe and many other markets around the world. There are also these strange little circles that look like it could be exposed fasteners. I don't think they're ultrasonic sensors or cameras. Overall, the design looks functional with real bumpers, maybe attachments for tow hooks in the front, and very clean lines. Another potential tie to Amazon could leverage their Amazon Smart Vehicle division. They work with automakers to integrate A-L-E-X-A -E into new vehicles. But beyond this, they signed an agreement with Stellantis to develop Stella Smart Cockpit. Now, this collaboration has evolved since that original announcement. Amazon went on a hiring spree initially, making it appear like they're going to take over the digital experience inside Jeeps and Rams, but it appears that the final product will be much more evolutionary and controlled by Stellantis. Slate Auto could leverage Amazon smart vehicles to take the lead on designing that digital experience. They're looking for a product manager to lead the digital customer experience in Seattle, where Amazon smart vehicles also has operations. A reveal with more details is just days away. Rumors are that they're looking into Indiana to manufacture in late 2026. That seems wildly optimistic, but you know, let's see what they have to say. Manufacturing could be very non-traditional for this tough little guy. Sales will likely be direct to consumer and post-sales revenue opportunities will almost certainly play a role. Electric vehicles have had the spotlight stolen by AI and autonomy. I think we need an EV that gets us back to driving, and I hope this is it. I've already got an R2 reservation, so 
Hopefully, Slate shows us something to take my money to. Until then, thanks for watching.